This is Daniel Johnson, a 25-year-old student. He was knocked off his bike by a bus and has been brought into the emergency department by the paramedics. At scene, they report he was complaining of pain in his pelvis, had a pulse of 120 and a blood pressure of 80 over 50. Okay, based on those initial observations, uh, I'd quite like to call the trauma team, please. Okay, the trauma team has been called and they'll be on their way shortly. Okay, do I have any help uh, in assessing this patient? Yes, you have an emergency department nurse who's able to assist. Hello, uh, so I've got my protective gear on of gloves, gown and glasses. Uh, is it safe to approach the patient? There's no obvious uh, threats. Okay, fine. Hi there, Mr Johnson. Hello. I'm Dr Baxton, uh, one of the A&E doctors. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm in quite a lot of pain. Okay. Uh, could you open your mouth for me, please? Yeah. Okay. Nothing abnormal to see in the mouth. Okay, fine. I'm just going to look, feel and listen. You can see the chest wall moving. It's uh, quite fast. Um, there's no extra sounds and you can feel breath on your cheek. Okay. Uh, nurse, could you put on 15 litres high flow oxygen through a non-rebreather mask, please? Excellent. Uh, have you been trained to fit C-spine uh, collars on? No, I haven't, but I've got one here. Okay, thank you. Could you just uh, possibly take over from me here, just slide your hands over mine and hold his head steady. Have you got that? Excellent. Okay, so just a minute. Okay, just going to put a collar on you, Mr Johnson. Uh, Keep your neck steady. Yeah. Okay, if you just keep that steady for me. Put these in. Okay, have you got that? Okay, I'm now going to move on to breathing. So could you uh, attach an O2 SATS monitor for me? First of all, I'm just going to have a look in the chest. Sorry, in the neck. Uh, looking at the neck, there's no obvious abnormalities. Okay, just going to have a palpation now. On palpation, the, the trachea would appear to be central and there's no, uh, no obvious abnormalities. Okay, just going to rest my hands on the chest. Uh, can you tell me about the respiratory rate? His uh, chest wall moving is symmetrical and his respiratory rate is 24. Okay, and there doesn't appear to be any ab abnormal movements no of No abnormal chest. movements. And on palpation, there's nothing uh, abnormal to feel. Okay. And there's no evidence of uh, bleeding posteriorly. Okay, thank you very much. Resonant. 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 Thank you very much. Normal breath sounds. Normal. 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 Normal heart sounds. Okay. And uh, what are the O2 sats like? The O2 sats 94%. Okay, at this stage, I'd like to order a chest x ray and a pelvic x ray, please. Okay, they're on their way. Okay, I'm now going to move back up and reassess breathing. How, how are you doing, Mr. Johnson? No, it's still pain. Okay, whereabouts is the pain at the moment? Mainly around here. Okay, fine. And uh, no change in chest movements at all? No change. Okay, fine. Uh, nurse, could you attach a blood pressure cuff on there, please? And take a reading. 
You can't feel a pulse at uh, the wrist. Okay. So he looks he looks pale and uh, peripherally shut down. Okay, I'm going to move up to the. Uh, okay, you can feel a pulse there, and and um, it feels fast, and your pulse oximetry reading and your palpation would suggest this pulse is 130. Okay, are we taking the blood pressure yet? Uh, the blood pressure has come back as 80 over 50. Okay, at this uh, moment I'm worried that he's in shock, so let's get a uh, wide bore cannula into each arm, please. Okay, sharp scratch coming. Okay, you managed to get both cannula in the first Excellent. time. Excellent. Uh, from one of these, I'd like to take bloods. So I'd like to take uh, group and save, uh, from which I'd like to order immediately four units of the cross-match blood and also two units of O negative. I'd also like to check FBCs, UNEs, LFTs, clotting and amylase. Uh, once that's been taken, can we get two litres of warmed Hartmann's uh, running into through both arms stat, please? Okay, while well, that's running, uh, I'd like to have a quick examination, uh, see if there's any signs of any blood. Is there anything on the floor? There's no external bleeding. Okay, I've got a uh, chest x-ray ordered, so I'm going to have a look down at the abdomen. Uh, is there any sign of any bruising down here? He's, he's not moving the abdomen much, um, okay. and on inspection, he does seem to have some bruising, uh, particularly around the lower abdomen, okay. and it's questionable whether or not the abdomen's distended. Okay, we're just going to have a palpation. Can you tell me if, uh, if this hurts or not? That appears to be very sore in the lower Is part of his over? abdomen. Uh, and moving on to the closer inspection, you notice he has bruised perineum. Okay, is that all oh, quite painful? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And just quickly check the legs. There's no obvious deformity or swelling. Okay, uh, this age I'm worried either, that either the upper or the lower limbs. Okay. Uh, at this stage, I'm concerned that there is some internal hemorrhaging uh, in either the abdomen or pelvis, or possibly both. So I'd like to apply a uh, pelvic uh, harness. Uh, is there anyone around to help me? Hi there, I'm one of the orthopaedic surgeons. Can you just give me a quick summary of this patient? Please? Absolutely. This is Daniel Johnson, a 25-year-old male who's been knocked off his bike by a bus. Uh, he's been brought in hypertensive and slightly tachycardic. We've mm -hmm. secured his C-spine, uh, his airway is patent, he's alert and conscious and talking. Mm -hmm. There's no evidence of any problem with his breathing, uh, although we reconfirmed that he was very hypertensive and so we've uh, pushed through two litres of warm Hartman stat. Mm -hmm. uh, on examination, there doesn't appear to be any blood on the floor. I've ordered a chest and pelvic x-ray. There's no evidence of any uh, deformity or bleeding from a either the upper or lower limbs, but there is a lot of bruising on the abdomen and on the pelvis, and it's, they're both painful to palpation, so I would like to apply a pelvic harness. Okay, I think that would be a good idea. Okay, are you okay to assist? Could you possibly yes. stabilise the pelvis? And nurse, if you could just grab this. So just lift his feet up like that. Okay, that's very careful. Just move this up. Okay, ready, and let's go. And where are you um, positioning that pelvic? Uh, uh, positioning it with it running uh, centred over the uh, greater trochanters. Okay. okay, are you again that side, nurse? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now that that's uh, attached, uh, can I check what the blood pressure is now? Uh, the blood pressure is now 90 over 50, and his pulse has come down to 120. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go and chase up the imaging um, and call the rest of the trauma team. Would you mind continuing with the resuscitation and assess disability and exposure? Absolutely. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, so I'm going to move back up. Hi, how are you doing, Mr. Johnson? Uh, still in pain. Still in pain, okay. No problems breathing, though? No. See everything okay? Um, uh, no change in uh, the O2 saturation? I remain un unchanged at uh, 94%. Okay, and the blood pressure is responding to the Hartmann's, so we'll continue with that, and I move on to disability. Uh, could you possibly just wiggle your fingers and toes for me, please, Mr. Johnson? That's good, so the patient is alert and obeying commands. Thank you very much. And I'm just going to shine a light in your eyes now. Okay, the pupils are equal and reactive. Okay, that's great. Thanks very much. Uh, 
Um, and now we've, uh, we've exposed as much as we can. So I'd like, nurse, could you take a temperature, please, of the patient? Temperature is 36. Okay, uh, can we get a bear hugger down? And in the meantime, we'll just cover him with a blanket while we're waiting for that. Okay, thank you very much. That'll be great. <laughs>